Okay, so in this video, I will show you guys how to cut. This is what? Nangka. Nangka. My first time, alright? First, you need a nangka. You need a basin, newspaper, and knife. Okay? The knife got oil on it, what? Okay? So now, uh, what? That's a cut. Because of that. So it's my first time, so it's first time. If it's your first time, don't worry, there's first time for everything. Just cut, you see any opening, just cut. Make sure to have your hand out of the way. No baby around. Okay. Okay, another thing is have some help because this is my uncle, he's a very good photographer, videographer. Contractor, semua bau kalau, okay? Okay, so you need some help on this. So as I'm peeling, then that is where we are successful. All right, so very quick short tutorial how to open angka, angka. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, anyways, jokes aside, um, that was my first time opening Nangka and it was a tough one, alright, that was a... Okay, it was it was tough, man, like, it was like 10 to 15 kilo and my hands were sticky, uh, the knife was sticky and I had a tough time, okay, in fact, I hated the whole experience. Um, I'm just gonna let you know what's the lesson I learned after, uh, after that. So what happened was, um, I was... I I pretty much um I pretty I pretty much stopped halfway. It's like oh man, it's like this is not what I want, man. Why am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why is someone like me opening a fruit? And um, because I sucked, I didn't know how to do it. And that's where my dad came along. Okay, my dad came along and he was uh, he told me like no, that's not how you do it. That's uh, oh no, that's not how you do it. You need to remove the stem first. And uh, I, I didn't really know what he was talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what happened next was I sh I took one of the nanka one of the cut one of the pieces and transferred it to the kitchen, and that's where my dad was. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's like um, I think he's almost eighty right now, and that's where he I saw him do it. I didn't want to do it, so I left I left the stuff I left the nanka there. I let him do it on its own, and I went to play with my sister's niece. Okay, hey, sorry. I went to play with my niece, okay, my sister's baby, uh, Belle, okay, cute little thing. And um, after I was playing with her for about two to three minutes, right, I was thinking to myself, Sean, you are such an idiot. Like, your dad is almost 80 and he's alone in the kitchen opening the nanka alone, all right? And that's where I decided that, hey, um, you know what, maybe you don't like to open Nanka, maybe you feel like, I was, I was talking to myself like, Sean, maybe you were like, uh, this is not worth your time, your time is worth more than that, but I decided to do it, like open a Nanka, not because I wanted to, I just found something else that, uh, I just found another reason too, okay? And I did it because I could spend more time with my father. As you know, like, I've got two kids, okay, I've got a family and Spending time with my parents is not something that I do a lot. So maybe I see them like once every two weeks or three weeks once. Okay, but that then it was then it struck me as like, what are you doing, man? You should go be with your father. And I decided that even though I don't like to do uh, open nanka, I use that as a uh, as a chance to be with my dad. All right, and I see how this applies to other areas of my life, or it could apply to your life as well. So basically, that's the lesson in life where you don't need to like something to do something. <laughs> okay, I'm, a, I'm an expert at that. Okay, uh, I, I, I still remember when I was like learning new skills. The time where I'm learning new stuff, right? That's the time where I feel very like stupid. Like, oh my god. Like, or, or even when I'm recording my first videos, like, eee, will people like that? Um, but, oh, but I learned that to go through a phase where you don't want to do it, and learn and eventually you know how to do it and if and after that it becomes to i want to do it i love to do it okay and that's one of the things i guess that's where passion comes once you know how to do something 
because I know a lot of people, okay, or maybe you are one of them, like, you, you, you don't want to do something because you already decide that you don't know how and you don't know, like, you, you already concluded that you have no passion or no interest at all. And, but I'm here to let you know that passion can be built, uh, skill can be developed, uh, things can be learned, and don't stop just because you have no interest, okay? You might find the passion after doing something for a while. Alright, so anyways, this is a short lesson. I know we started off a bit weird <laughs> where I'm showing you how to open my nan the nanka. Uh, but I hope this helped you. And if you have parents who are still with you, spend some time with them. Okay, just tell them you miss them, you love them. I, I do that to my parents a lot lately uh, because I know uh, they won't be around. Uh, they, don't, they won't be with me forever. So I give them a hug, I tell them I love you, I miss you, and just uh, stay healthy and give them a kiss as well. Okay guys, no shame in that, okay? <laughs> no shame in that. Nothing wrong with saying I love you to your parents, no matter how old you are. And okay lah, so uh, I'm just gonna stop here. And if you like what you see, just feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook, okay? The links are all in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.